Hello again. Um, here's uh, a recipe for to make um, LED uh, greetings card, LED Christmas cards or birthday cards. Um, an LED uh, stands for light emitting diode and it's a small um, light. They come in different colours. Um, the red, green and uh, yellow LEDs are very cheap, just, just a few pennies each. Um, unfortunately the um, white ones are still um, a little bit more expensive um, and unlike bulbs um, they have to be connected the right way round. Um, it doesn't matter which way a bulb is connected to a battery but LEDs you have to get them the right way round. I don't know if you can see, um, can you see that one leg is longer than the other? This leg is longer than that leg? Um, it's the long leg has to go to the plus side of the batteries. Now these are 5mm um, standard Kingbright LEDs and you can run these directly uh, from uh, 3 volts. I've got, I've got two AA batteries here and um, don't worry about getting it wrong. If you get it the wrong way around it doesn't damage the LED, it just doesn't work. But if you get it the right way around then the LED will light up. Um, they consume very little um, electricity unlike a bulb and you can have any number of them connected together, especially if you connect them up uh, in parallel, like this, and you can mix the colours, you could have uh, all red, all yellow, or as you can see, uh, a mixture. Now the problem in primary schools is connecting them up, is extremely fiddly trying to wrap wire around here, it's also very easy to, to actually create a short, short circuit, um, and that will stop the LED from working. So um, this is a, a technique um, which makes um, connecting them together much easier and we're going to use um, strips of um, aluminium cooking foil. I'm going to make a Christmas card here but it could be a birthday card or um, a card celebrating Diwali. Um, I'm going to cut a, cut a simple tree here. I'm going to fold a piece of green paper in half. and I'm going to glue that down to the front of the card. For the card I'm using uh, my favourite material Corex, this is 3mm Corex and I've, I've scored it with a craft knife and as you can see it folds really nicely. You, you could use thick card. So I'm just going to glue the tree on when I do this with uh, pupils we have lots of decorating material, glitter, to make it as colourful as possible. There we are, there's our basic tree shape there. Um, we're now going to decide how many LEDs we're going to have and we're going to make some holes for them. I think I'm, I'm just going to have um, three LEDs. Um, and it's, it's easiest if you have the LEDs in a, in a straight vertical line. If you start having them randomly placed then it makes connecting them together uh, more difficult. So open the card out and then gently push through with a sharp pencil there so that you can see the marks on the other side. I can see the marks. I'll push them through a little bit more so that it shows up better. So I'm not pushing the whole pencil through. I'm just pushing it through far enough so that we can see the marks on the other side. I'm now going to push the pencil through from inside the card, this is important, from inside the card, but push it through a little bit more, but still not all the way through, so don't push the whole pencil through. And this one, taking great care not to push it into your finger on the other side of the card, a little bit more and one more there at the top. There we are. So I've got um, three holes there. And the reason I took so much care is that if we're careful um, the LEDs will be able to push in from inside and we won't even need to glue them. And doing it this way it means that there is no way that the two wires coming out LED can touch each other. Um, 
if, if they were passed through from the front of the LED, there's every chance that they're going to touch each other and stop working. So we can push the LED in. Notice I've got the wires going across horizontally. And at this point, we need to sort out which is the plus and which is the minus. I can see that that's the long leg there. And to make sure I don't get confused, I'm going to actually put plus there. I'm actually going to write, let's write long legs as well. So we absolutely won't get confused. And then the other LEDs you push in, you make sure that they are the same way round. So I'm going to put a, a yellow one in there and a green one in there. So I, I've made sure that I've got all the long legs of the LEDs on one side and all the short legs on the other. It doesn't matter which side they are, as long as they're all on the same side. And now I'm going to just gently bend them over a bit, not all the way down. Like that. Next we're going to join all of these together and all these three legs together using the strips of cooking foil. And I'm going to slide the cooking foil underneath the legs like this. And then bend the legs down flat. Now, circuits are quite fussy things. You need to get really good connections. And to make sure that those legs are really touching uh, the cooking foil, I'm going to stick it down with sticky tape. Um, if I did that with the card on the table like this, then all that would happen is that I'd push up the LEDs from the front. So I'm going to move it to the edge of the table, so the LEDs are just off the edge. And then I'm going to cover the connections with sticky tape, like this. Press down really tightly, because you need to make sure that's a really good connection. I'm going to put a bit more there. So I've really covered that. Then cover the connections for the yellow LED. Really press down hard with your finger to get this sellotape sticking on. The good thing about using sellotape on Corex is it will last a long time. I've got some of these cards that still work um, after several years. You might need to have the batteries replaced but the actual card still works. So can you see now I've completely sealed up those connections with sticky tape. Um, I'm going to put a bit more sticky tape here but I'm going to make sure that I leave the ends of the strips of cooking foil exposed. So don't cover the ends of the foil with sticky tape. So I'm just going to get one more piece of tape I think just to tidy it up. About there. There we are. And I've left the ends of the foil exposed. Next we're going to get our uh, battery holder ready. We've got a, um, a twin AA battery holder here. Make sure you put the batteries in the right way. And we're going to fit it with a uh, connector. And we can at this point check to make sure our LEDs are working by just touching the wires on and they should light up. Bottom two are lighting up but not the top one, so we'll just press that down a bit harder. There we are, and now I hope, if I hold it up, I hope that you can see that all three are working. If I turn it around, you can see they're lighting up. Okay, so um, to make the circuit work, we're going to use the fact that it's a card, and when you close the card, we're going to make the LEDs light up, and when you open it, they're going to turn themselves off. Um, so to do that, we're going to use two paper fasteners and we're going to push them in to the back of the card but we're going to put them in a position where each paper fastener will line up with the piece of foil. So if you hold the card on its edge, you can see where the foil is and carefully push the paper fastener through like that. So that paper fastener, when the card is closed, is going to touch that piece of foil. We'll then do the other one. I think it needs to go about there. There we go. Let's see. Yep, that's going to coincide with the other piece of foil. 
we're almost finished now. Um, again, we need to make sure that we get it the right way round. Uh, now, I think that that is going to be the, the plus side of the circuit. We'll just have a look on the other side to see if we've got it working. Yes, I'm not worried too much about that LED yellow one not working. We'll press down the sellotape more in a minute. So we get strip these wires, twist it round the paper fastener, bend the legs down really tightly, and the same with the other one. Just a black wire, bend the legs over, and to make it last a while, it's a really good idea to cover those links with some sticky tape. And I'm going to use a glue gun to glue the battery holder down to the back of the card. Here we are. I'll just put another piece of sticky tape just to tidy those wires up. Okay, we'll just find out why that yellow one's not working. Let's um, press down the sellotape a bit harder. Here we are. And there we go, we've got the three LEDs um, working as you squeeze the card. Um, there's another one I've made. This, this one is um, several years old. The sellotape's going off a bit. But even, even when that happens, it's quite good because it, it, it makes the LEDs twinkle. And it doesn't have to be um, a Christmas card. Um, here's one that I made with some children a few weeks ago. We've got Iron Man so eyes light up. And to make that happen, we've had to move the paper fasteners to the top of the card. So I hope you enjoy making um, LED Christmas cards.